Officer Sybil Bennett. Anything happens to my daughter, I'll hold you responsible. She's not in the Stewart's house. How can you be so sure? I've been a cop for 20 years, and all 20 of them in this town. I know the place, and I know the people. I know the Stewarts haven't kidnapped your daughter. They're in my house. Says your ID. You sure that's your house? Just how well is your head working, Harry? I haven't forgotten anything. Some things are fuzzy, uh, but the rest I know. I know that was my house. What else? What else do you know? I'm Harry Mason. I love my daughter very much. I live in Silent Hill. I write for a living crap, pretty much. Conspiracy thrillers? Murder mysteries? Sometimes. Whatever they pay me for, I, I work for hire. My stuff is big in libraries. Never sees hardcover. Real life's a lot more boring than your stories. We'll find your daughter, Harry. Then life can be normal again. You okay back there? Sure. Holding up. I'm sure your daughter's okay. We've just got to clear this thing up. We should probably get you to the hospital, too, once we know she's safe. <sighs> I'm fine. The human brain is a delicate thing, Harry. Need to get you checked out. Yeah. My dad thought he was tough. He got hit on the head by a punk resisting arrest. He was never the same after that. You gotta look after yourself, Harry. For your daughter's sake. Point taken. Damn, this snow is crazy. Uh... I can't see the road. Wait here. I'm just gonna check where we are. Oh, I can interact with all this stuff. Where's she gone? Can I not unlock it? Or is that unlocked and it just moves only a tiny bit? You okay, Sybil? So weird, they act and, and look so different from Sybil Bennett in the original Silent Hill. Yeah, it's still locked. I spent about a million years sitting in this seat, trying to find a way out. And then I googled it and found out that apparently I can actually switch seats. Let's try. Well, would you look at that. <laughs> I did not know I could do that. Okay. Well, this one's probably not going to work either. Anything outside the window? Just a tree and some snow. Let's go to the front. Can I mess with any of this stuff? Read their correspondences? What is that? Basically just snow. Ah, that one unlocks. Let's check out the other seat first, though. Civil Bennett, police officer, Silent Hill patrol unit.
Oh my god. Yeah, snow here. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, it's otherworldly. Oof. I wonder if the texture thing that I did is causing those audio distortions. Let me check. Yeah, that safe texture cache thing that I, I turned entirely to safe, to the, the slowest but safest option to get the drawing to work correctly, that seemed to be causing the horrendous performance issues. So I just set it back to what it was before. I can always turn it back to the other option if we run into any other problems. Log cabin? Guess we're going there. Ooh, wait. Does that sound mean enemies or just strong energies attached to an object? I think we only see enemies during the nightmares where there's those like weird blue marked things and all that stuff, so it shouldn't be an enemy. party in the wood, but I don't like it. The guys, uh, I don't know. I don't like the way they're talking. You've got to come find me. Oh, God. I hope they got out safe. That is so creepy, having strong emotions attached to these objects. Oh, I mean, sometimes it's a good thing, like the first one we found was a, a good, loving memory, but then other ones like this, just... We just get all these out-of-context, horrible situations when people were scared or something. I'm sure we're just gonna find more like that. Sibyl? She was a walking trail and then a couple teepees? Is that a symbol that just means a lodging of some sort or is it literally a teepee? Looks like there's a cabin over there, church. Oh, I might want to take a picture of that actually. I don't, I don't know if that's going to be high enough quality. This doesn't look like it's been used in a while. I mean, it's not like a complete dump or anything, but it's a little bit dumpy. That's what the key was for. Is this a basement or... Oh, no, just out the back. State Department Natural Resources Reforestation Zone. I'm sad that I, I can't press X to Sybil. Or even Cheryl. Running through the snow, just 
can't see anything except what's illuminated by our flashlight. It's really moody. I love it. I gotta say, though, it really does take away some of the fear traveling through an environment like this being pretty damn sure that I can't encounter enemies. Because, as far as I know, and this could change, but it seems like they've segmented the enemies entirely to those, I think they're called nightmares. It's places where you have those little blue things marking where you can go and gotta find the exit and all that. So they've, like, segmented enemies to very specific places, so if you're not in one of those sequences, I just don't think there's anything to be afraid of, for the most part. Certainly it's tough to be creeped out by, but I don't think I'm gonna be killed by a monster. Alright, I guess we're following the path we saw on the map. Kinda wanna just run off into the woods. Might be a memento out there or something. Ooh, water tower. I guess there's a memento. Frozen waters. Just looks like a very, very big marble. It's really pretty. fishing since I was a kid. River fishing regulations. No reason to read that, I guess. This waterway is ranger patrolled. State Department of Natural Resources. Ooh, telephone number. 555-3474. 3474 is the only part I have to remember. 3474. 3474. 3474. 3474. 3474. <laughs> that is so cool. I love that so much, even though it doesn't really matter. I mean, I, I didn't need to do that. But just uh, something about having a phone, finding numbers in the environment, and being able to dial them and getting, you know, sensible things back from dialing them, just... It's really cool. Makes the world feel more real and connected. By the way, what happens if I dial 911? My daughter, my daughter's missing. My daughter's missing. No, no, my daughter. No, wait! Shit! They can't even hear us! Must just be the phone lines being all weird because of the snow, you know? Yeah, sure. Just wanna check out here real quick. There's a fence. 
Aha. Oh, maybe this is where I'm supposed to go, actually. Oh god, I didn't realize I can climb that. Harry can really jump. Um, yeah, let's go back to the cabin. Probably locked? No. <laughs> ah, they had a still operation going on out here. Yeah, that's all this place is, isn't it? Just a moonshine shack, and then I guess this is a hammock for staying here if someone needed to, but there's no, like, food or cooking equipment or anything. Probably can't go in the water. Don't think I'd want to go in the water. Der Oz something? Oswind? Oskind? Henry's on the lake live bait. So I guess this used to be. Yeah, like a lakeside business and whatnot, and now it's just a moonshine shack and abandoned. Wait. So I can continue this way. But then... What's over the other way? I'm super curious now. Let's take a look at the map. I'm not... It's... Is this the thing where I jumped over? This little red thing here? Right there. Pump station? Yeah, that's probably it. Huh. Alright, what's in here? I'm surprised how many doors are open. Like, almost every door that I've encountered in this game is openable. That's so different from the other Silent Hills, where almost every door you encounter has a broken lock and can never be opened. So, like... Do I need to go through this pump station? I'm not even in the pump station yet, I'm still... in that little tiny thing here. But yeah, do I need to go through here? Because I was coming out the back of this lodge, so maybe it would have went around to the back of the pump station, and I would have entered it anyway? Do I need to go to the Orion Lodge? I don't know. I mean, what am I doing? I guess I'm sort of trying to get back to town, and I'm also sort of um, trying to find Sybil. Yeah, so the way this map shows, it shows us going, I think... Not the way I'm going here, it shows us going, I guess, like, through the cabins, kind of, and then around to the Orion Lodge. Below that white mound on the map but I've gone here and then I went up here and now I'm going like through the mountain or something so this is not the way that it shows on the map also yeah this map is barely high quality enough to see anything so I don't think I'm supposed to be in here huh eerie oh, listen to that sound design Dripping. Occasional drip and twang of metal. Sound design's really fantastic in this game. Okay, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. I feel like I've... God, I've been through so much these past couple episodes. Just <laughs> trying to come to grips with tweaking the settings and getting the controls right and getting around my lack of controls in some cases and being stuck in the cop car. I feel like I've been through some trials, you know? Well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we are going to continue on into the pump station, I think. <laughs>